Hi, I'm Paul with IQ Max. Today we're introducing our web-enabled healthcare application suite. We'll be showing three categories of commonly used mobile devices. The flip phone, the smartphone, and the PDA phone. The flip phone. This is the LG 8600 offered by Verizon Wireless. You notice on the top left hand side we're connected via the EBDO network. I've taken the liberty of adding in my login password. I'll use the D-pad indicator to tap on login and it's going to bring us up to our healthcare application suite showing our patient list, showing my patient list across my appointments for today's date. I can again scroll using the D-pad indicator, tapping on appointments to switch it to my census list, tapping on mine and switching it to my cardiology clinic, and then refreshing the screen to bring up that specific information. We can now see that the patients are now categorized by room, in this case Sue Crowder room 1015 or 1014. We can tap on Sue and get all the detailed information and we can scroll down to look at all types of information including charge capture, diagnosis, microbiology, transcribed reports. In this case I want to look at lab results for Sue. I can easily tap in lab results and tap go and now I'm viewing Sue Crowder's lab results. I want to now go into details of those lab results and looking at the CBC. I can tap CBC and it's going to bring up all of the detailed information about this particular lab result trended over the length of stay for Sue. At any time I can go back to my patient list and I can begin to work on another patient. This is actually the IQ Max suite of applications, specifically lab results, demonstrated on the LG 8600 over a standard internet connection. The smartphone. This is the Samsung Blackjack offered by AT&T, formerly known as Singular. If you'll notice, we're on the 3G network. I've taken the liberty to go ahead and add in my login and passcode. I'm using the D-pad key to log in. This is going to launch our healthcare applications focused on our patient list, my particular patient list across my appointments. I can change from appointments to census and go from my patient list to my cardiology group and I can refresh that bringing up all the details for this particular query. We now see that we have Sue Crowder. We notice we have a charge. We've already collected a charge for Sue. We can scroll down and pick any patient we want to to demonstrate how we capture charge. In this case, I'm going to pick Courtney. We can tap on Courtney. It's going to bring us the detailed information of Courtney. We can scroll down and select on charge. This is going to launch our charge capture application. Numerous ways we can collect charges. However, we're going to focus on my favorite list, which are already macros that are pre-selected and routinely charged for. In this case, we're going to select the moderate acute appendicitis. It's going to drive us into the details screen for this particular charge. I've collected this charge and now I can easily send that which integrates to the back end practice management or EMR system. Brings me back out to Courtney and I can easily go back out to the patient list and continue my work. We've now demonstrated patient list and how to capture a charge using the Samsung Blackjack offered by AT&T. The PDA phone. This is the AT&T Tilt by HTC. If you'll notice in the top right hand side we have both the Wi-Fi and the 3G. We'll be using the Wi-Fi for the demonstration. I've entered my login and passcode and I'll go ahead and log in. This particular device has a keyboard that pulls out and also giving it the tilt name tilts. If you'll notice now we're in the patient list looking at my patients and my appointments. I can easily drive in and switch it to my census list, switch it from mine to my cardiology group, refresh that information and pull up the details 
go into Sue's name, look at the details of Sue. If I wanted to go and search and look at transcribed documents, I can tap on transcribed documents or transcription and pull up all the detailed information about that transcribed document. I can easily read that document. I can go back out to notes and actually I can add a note to Sue. And adding no visitors. We can make that private or we can publish that for everybody to see. We can go back out to the patient list and continue working from there. We've now seen how we can look at transcribed results, read those results, capture a note, all using the IQMAX healthcare applications on the AT&T Tilt using an internet browser over Wi-Fi connection.